As the major political parties finger point at each other, it appears one party has all but disappeared. In recent days, the Greens have been overshadowed by the political spin on Parliament Hill, and leader Elizabeth May is afraid national media are ignoring her party's message. But the feisty May says that's all about to change. As soon as the election writ is issued, May says she'll be campaigning to fix politics as she runs to secure a seat in Ottawa. The Green Party leader has been barely mentioned in media reports in recent weeks. She's afraid that might be by design. And she says she's not going away. It's critical for, uh, for I think, for the health of democracy to have the one million voters who voted Green in the last election hear that voice. Because otherwise, I think so many people are disgusted with politics, they'll simply stop voting. May Starr rose in the 2008 federal election when she scored a seat at the leaders' debate. Having just entered politics, the former policy advisor to government and head of the Sierra Club lost to Conservative Peter McKay in Nova Scotia. The following year, the Green leader moved to Vancouver Island. She is now running against Conservative Gary Lunn in Saanich and the Gulf Islands, a seat she believes is winnable. It's a two-way race. Uh, Mr. Lunn is in th 34, 35, and I'm sort of 32, and the Liberal and the NDP candidates are kind of tied at around 19. May acknowledges once the election begins, those numbers will change. Voters we spoke to have mixed feelings about her chances. Probably not. A little, a little far to the left. I will vote green. How much harm can a party called a green party do? I don't think the, uh, the vote for the green party uh, is going to mean very much. May obviously disagrees. She's on a mission to reform politics and says sending her to Ottawa will make a difference. I know when it's off course, and I know how to get it back on track. To do that, May is planning to spend only eight to ten days out of her riding during the election campaign, working hard to unseat the popular incumbent. It's not mostly about Gary Lunn. It's mostly about what can we do to fix what's wrong in this country, and can you do it with someone who is part of that very system that keeps cranking out the attack ads and the negativity. And she's ready if some of those attack ads come her way. But win or lose, Elizabeth May says she will continue to fight for democratic reform, but she acknowledges doing that from inside the House of Commons could be a little easier. In Victoria, Stephen Andrew, A News.